actually studied abroad during college. I was in Los Angeles at that time and I got an internship that requires me to get up very early in the morning. So at that time I thought, okay, I need coffee to start the day with a lot of energy. But then coffee really becomes more than a functional drink. It's really like a symbolic move for me to start the day with um, all the good attitude and the positive energy. So I bought the Linea Mini in 2016, I think. Um, I first saw it, I actually went back to check that I saw it in uh, Seattle uh, in, back in 2015, and I think at that time, the machine was not officially launched yet, but I was already fell in love with how cute and the, how cute it looks, and it can actually fit in a, at home at a normal kitchen size. Um, so uh, when I moved back to China, I used my first year's uh, working bonus to purchase the machine. Also, it's like a reward for myself for all the hard work, uh, and it's uh, great for, for the coffee for giving me the courage in the past. I think the machine has been with me for almost seven years now. I bought it in Hong Kong and then brought, brought it back to Shanghai with me to where I live right now. And during the Shanghai lockdown a couple months ago, it actually it plays a very important role um, that the whole neighbors, they come to my apartment that we help them grind the beans. Um, and sometimes we help them make coffee so that you don't have to drink instant coffee and the people's life quality are getting a lot better but after they learned we have an almost commercial level professional espresso machine at home um, and I'm very glad I made the purchase so it can help people when they actually need um, yeah, that's it The coffee shop I opened in is open in January 2012, so about um, half a year now. I think before I opened the shop, I was thinking more about the design and the menu. Like I have some specific idea, like I want the whole place feel like a living room instead of like a very commercial feeling coffee shop. Uh, and I want the coffee menu to focus on the most classic espresso. So we make very good cappuccino, we make very good piccolo uh, espresso drink instead of we do a lot of the specialty things that people can enjoy every day. And I think Shanghai is still at its recovery stage. The weather is like 40 degrees outside and people are a bit lazy coming out because you've been two months at home, you're actually kind of used to be at home. But I think all the coffee shops are still very look forward to see the day people coming back and the space are full of smiles, conversations and of the happiness. Um, yeah, so thank you for everything. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh honey, 